Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns in. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you gonna A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C, time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Buh bye Man, fuck you. Franklin, what's up? Shit, what's cracking, homie? We need to talk, but somewhere quiet, all right? Yeah, sure, man. Whatever you need. How about one of those empty lots off El Burro, on the east side of town? Yeah, all right, homie. Look, I'll meet you there, all right? Franklin, what's up, big homie? Mike, man. I need to have a conversation with Trevor. You know, yeah, that conversation. Oh, shit. All right, okay. Look, man, the FIB dudes want them gone. And Devin Weston want y'all gone. You know how it is, dawg. Shit. Somebody gotta go. Well, it ain't fucking me. Exactly, man. Look, we meeting at a Borough Heights. So you think you can help me? Uh, I don't know. That sounds like it's your thing, Frank. I I'll see what I can do.
Hey, man, how you doing? Shit, I'm good, T. And yourself? <sighs> Peachy! I know what this is about. You do? Of course! It's Michael! You're the peacemaker! Well, I ain't having it, all right? I ain't having it. I mean, maybe when the heat dies down. But this, nah, I ain't having it. I mean, that's it, right? Huh? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? But Michael ain't the problem. T, I like you. You scare the shit out of me sometimes. You creep me the fuck out. But, but the way I see it, the way anyone normal will see it, not that any of this shit is normal, man, you gonna get us all fucking killed. You gonna whack me? Huh? Me? I ain't been nothing but straight and true with you. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, you have been true with me. But the truth ain't what I'm interested in. You fucking killed him! So you gonna run from me, huh? You, man, I'm chasing teeth through the oil field. Shit. Okay, I'm not far away. Try and stop him.
Finish the fucking job, Franklin! your best fucking friend! Fuck you. Oh. 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 You know what, tough guy? It's... It's time you grow the fuck up. I mean, I admit, I'm a bad piece of work, but that guy, that piece of shit, no boundaries, no sense of when to back off, no nothing. 24-7 insanity, day in, day out, all the time. He never regretted nothing, never cared for nothing. But fuck him. I mean, there's got to be a limit, kid. You know, a point where even assholes like us say, enough is he fucking enough. Human stew. That's my limit. I know that now. I guess that's that, Dean. It is what it is. certainly been an education. Surviving is winning, Franklin. Everything else is bullshit. Fairy tales spun by people afraid to look life in the eye. Whatever it takes, kid. Survive. Damn straight. Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah! But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns then. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're going to A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Man, fuck. Hey, kid, how you doing? Shit, not too good, dawg. Look, man, we need to talk, but somewhere quiet. All right. Listen, let's take a drive out of town. You and me, we'll meet off Route 68, by that field of satellite dishes. All the way out there? Yeah, all right, man. Sure. Frankie, 
Hey, T man, I'm in trouble, dawg. I think I gotta take out Michael. Got to? Yeah, man, look. The FIB, man, they trying to get me to clap you. And Devin Weston, he trying to get me to ice Michael. And I thought if I... If I do that, man, maybe we got some room, you know? So, wh what are you telling me this for? Cuz, dawg, I'm doing this for us. I thought you could... Well, I can't! You're turning on him? I have had enough traitors in my life! Man, your ass could say thank you. Shit. You deserve each other. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? You seem kind of agitated. Man, shit ain't good right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hey, baby, what's up? Really? Tracy? College? Our Tracy? R real college? You gotta be kidding me. That's great. All right, well, hey, listen, let me talk to you a little later, all right? Yeah, I just gotta wrap up some business here. All right, bye. Ah, uh, Amanda. Says she wants me to bring you around the house sometime for dinner. One of these nights, huh? Fuck. I mean, I don't know what I did to deserve this motherfucking luck. I got my kids back, my wife, and a job that I love. I mean, I made it. We made it. You and me, bro. <laughs> what? I like you, dog, and you know this. I risked everything for your ass, dog. What is this? Look, man. 
Me and you know this shit ain't over, dog. We both realists. The fuck is this? You... You? You came here to fucking clip me? You? Fuck! Really? We really going on a train track? You see the train, asshole? Shit, I ain't getting past there. Ah! Taught you everything you know. Not everything. I was here long before you, and I'll be here after your ass. Well, we'll see about that, you fuck. I'll take you every time. <laughs> every fucking time. Yeah, fucking a right. I was your bitch! I couldn't even stand down the barrel of your gun any fucking day, you motherfucker! Ah, you just keep telling yourself that. It ain't gonna make you feel any better. Past performance, homie. People don't fucking change. You did. You. Two-bit gangster gone three-bit. Now you're gonna... Gap. The only one who was ever decent to you! Ha! Ah. No, I trusted you. I took you in. Treated you like family. Mike, let's just fuck you. Hey, you told me when the time came. I know. I'm sorry. No, hypocrite. Hey, Lamar, it's me, homie. Look, I was just calling to see how you was doing, dog. Or maybe we can hang out or something. Man, I know I've been kind of caught up in shit, man, but shit been real crazy, homie. But it's dealt with now. 
Fuck, man, you know how it is, homie. You just start running and shit, and all of a sudden your legs give and you just can't run no more. Anyway, man, man, just hit me, dog. We brothers, homie, all right? Peace. Slick, it's me. Hey, kid, how you doing? Shit, not too good, dog. Look, man, we need to talk, but somewhere quiet. All right. Listen, let's take a drive out of town. You and me, we'll meet off Route 68 by that field of satellite dishes. All the way out there? Yeah, all right, man. Sure. Hey, T, man, I'm in trouble, dawg. I think I gotta take out Michael. Got to? Yeah, man, look. The FIB, man, they trying to get me to Clapham. And Devin Weston, he trying to get me to Ice Michael. And I thought if I... If I do that, man, maybe we got some room, you know? So, wh what are you telling me this for? Cuz, dawg, I'm doing this for us. I thought you could... Well, I can't! You're turning on him? I have had enough traitors in my life! Man, your ass could say thank you. Shit. You deserve each other.
track? Come on. You see the train, asshole? Shit, I ain't getting past here. Another way, man. Why are you going up there? Who put you up to this? Trevor? You're an idiot. We can take him out together right now. We'll roll on big. I brought you into my home, Franklin. You met my wife. me, homie. Look, I was just calling to see how you was doing, dog, or maybe we can hang out or something. Man, I know I've been kind of caught up in shit, man, but shit was real crazy, homie. But it's dealt with now. Fuck, man, you know how it is, homie. You just start running and shit, and all of a sudden your legs give and you just can't run no more. Anyway, man, man, just hit me, dog. We brothers, homie, all right? Peace.